What's going on family? Welcome back to another video. I'm super excited because I feel like I'm actually being consistent for once. Thankful to Dario behind the camera. Um, I got a lot of stuff going on today. I'm super excited. You know, I'm about to drop the new Team Lift Swag Collection 2 and um, I'm about to go over today's workout. So today's a more arm focused push day. So I'm actually starting off with close grip bench press because I want to prioritize what I want to build. And since it's a push day and I'm prioritizing my arms. I'm focusing on triceps. I'm gonna be hitting close grip bench press first to really focus on that. So we're gonna go into here. I'm gonna be hitting this for six to eight reps for three sets. So sit back, relax, and I hope you guys enjoy today's vlog. And I don't beg. Trunky's trying to flex. Man, to be honest, I'm just like vibing today, feeling really good. Niggas still wanna call it a day. Approach me and got shit to say. Talking to me. One of my secondary weak points is my upper chest. Um, I actually talked to the WMBF president, Leo King. So shout out to him. He took a look at my physique and he said that uh, I need to work on my arms and my upper shelf. So my workout program is based around my weak points and I'm prioritizing me developing my physique based on the judging criteria of the category that I'm competing in. I'm just finishing up my cut here and as I'm starting to add food in, I'm gonna be gaining weight. Now, one of the biggest mistakes that I see is people start to gain weight too fast and they get a little fluffy in the off season. Now, I wanna help you guys prevent that because I do see it happening year after year. So as we go through today's day, I'll give you guys a couple tips so you guys can stay tight even as you're bulking and adding muscle. We're about to head back to my place so I can show you guys one of my lean bulking meals. Now, a big mistake is people go in, they start bulking, they start eating like bacon and eggs and grease and so many calories and you start gaining fat too fast. But if you gain fat, you're not gonna be able to cut it off until you start cutting again. And that means cutting your bulking season short. Now the whole goal of bulking is developing. We wanna optimize that by extending the bulk, um, by staying leaner and allowing for more net muscle growth. So I'm gonna show you guys my bulking meal, post-workout meal right after this. Tip number two is to continue to stay active during your bulk. So let's say you finish your cutoff at like five sessions at 30 minutes and you're doing that weekly, you know, that's an extra at least 500 calories you're burning. And if you stop burning that right away, you're gonna be adding that to your surplus. So, you know, by doing small activities like going to play basketball, going for a walk in the day, that'll make such a huge difference. You know, you don't have to do as much as you were when you're cutting, but still staying active during your bulk um, will actually allow you to eat more and help you um, stay tighter during your bulking season. So um, I'm actually about to join this Filipino basketball league, you know, all five, 10 of me playing center. So I gotta get my work in because me and Dario are gonna play one-on-one, -on -one, I think, too, one day. The loser has to jump in the lake. It's starting to get cold out here. But yeah, guys, gonna put up some shots and uh, we'll get that photo shoot going. What's going on, guys? So I wanna end this video off on a strong point. And, uh, you know, staying lean during the bulk is great, but if you're not making any gains or adding any muscle, there's gonna be no point to it all. So. The last tip of the day is going to be make sure you're focusing on progressive tension overload. So if you're hitting, let's say, three sets of five, three sets of ten, you're hitting the same weight every single time, then try and add weight, add a rep. You know, you're going to be adding volume over time. And that's when you can focus on adding volume. And that's the number one mechanism for muscle hypertrophy. If you are accumulating that volume, you can be confident you're making gains. Um, so I'm going to end it off here. We're just doing a shoot. Um, for Kirby Omnia, um, getting some product shots. I really love your swag. So uh, it's a pleasure to work with them. 
And other than that, I guess uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. So comment, like, subscribe. And for everyone that's here, um, I just put out a 14 day challenge. I, it filled up in one day on Instagram. So make sure you guys follow me there. And I'll put a waiting list in the link below where you guys can get some free premium coaching from me. I'll be going over or giving you guys a free full workout plan, um, nutrition advice. And at the end of it, I'll be giving away a pair of AirPods for the winner. So this month is full, but if you guys want to go on the waiting list for next month, um, I would really appreciate it. And we can work together, get a transformation and there's no catch to it. So appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys soon.